Hello, how are we all doing? It's Baz here from the Whiskey Muppets. Donald again, we're going to do a bit of pairing today. A little bit different because I've got really no idea, which is quite usual. Um, you know, I have never tasted this whiskey, so Donald's going to talk us through it. Um, I'd just like to ask a question, Donald. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, I'm glad you asked it. I was going to ask you what it was as well, actually. Well, I reckon if I, if I saw my missus walking around, I'd be <laughs> sort of like getting a bit scared. Well, in a formal life, it was actually a cheese grater. Um, at Lockerbie Creamery in Scotland, and that's what I used to test the cheese with. It's a cheese trier, so you stick that into your cheese. Oh, so is that where all the holes come from in the cheese? No, not quite. Oh. No, but um, thought yeah. I learned something. Yeah, nearly. So you take a, a plug of cheese, and then you can look at it and play with it, and identify how good or bad the cheese has been. That and you okay. do that as a grader to identify how long that cheese can be kept, or if you need to sell it early and that. That's what cheese grater really does. Okay, you cool. can make a lot of money for it for, for a, a, a company, but you can also lose a lot of money if you get it wrong. So there's really no reason for Janine to want one of them. None at all, unless you're made of cheese. Okay, oh, just double check that. Out. All right, sorry. Hand you over to what we're doing. Okay. Um, today I've I've actually chosen this as my choice. Um, it mm. is a Bulvenie Caribbean cask. Now Bulvenie is a very iconic Scottish uh, distillery. A uh, Speyside distillery from Dufton um, near Glasgow here. And um, it's um, finished off in a Caribbean rum cast, so it's got a lot of sweetness about it. Uh, Bilveni whiskies are very, very smooth whiskies. Um, nice, easy drinking whiskies. Lots of fruit flavours, um, lots of sweetness in there. So I want to uh, pair that with a, a cheese that also has a little bit of acidity perhaps and a lot of fruitness in it as well. So what I've gone with here mm -hmm. is it's actually... It's totally different, isn't it? It's, it's totally, totally different, yes. Um, is a cheese, um, a Wensleydale cheese, which has got some uh, acidity in it in the cheese itself, and it's got cranberries um, infused throughout it. So those two flavours, um, that acidity and the cranberries, along with the Caribbean cask, Awesome. Right. Well, That's my feeling, Andrew. Well, so let's we'll, have a look. We'll go with your feeling. So smells good. Let me, let smells me just good. see what you think of the, the, the whiskey. Have you tried the whiskey? No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, look, you, well, we taste first. I probably should say I haven't, but I can't remember. I think you've probably <laughs> tried the double wood rather than the Caribbean cast. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're not so sure. Not so sure. I'll be honest. Not so sure. Not so sure. Mm. But that, hey, that's the journey of whiskey. It is, and as, as I've said before, what makes a great whiskey is what do you like. If you don't like it so much, it's not such a good whiskey for you. There's always another one to try. Exactly so. For me, this is a nice, smooth, fruity, easy drinking whiskey. Try that with some of this. Oh, no, that changes it. Mm. That changes it. Like amazingly, yeah. That's um probably the first one I've had. Like I've always liked the cheese and, and whiskies; they've been really, really good. But this is probably the most amazing change. Taking a whiskey, though, I would probably go. I pass up. Mm -hmm. As I said, this the whole whiskey journey is about what everyone likes. It's yeah. like that um, coriander. I feel some people love coriander, some, some people, people hate it. Yeah, absolutely. So I found with Danny. There's, because I hate coriander, he loves coriander. There's some, some, some whiskies that have a certain taste to it that he really goes for, and I'm like, You're not uh, so sure. I'm not so sure, dude. Yeah. And vice versa. So that, that's how I find, in my mindset, is like that. And that's but, what makes the world go round, isn't it? Exactly. Imagine if we're all the same, God, wouldn't it be boring? Imagine, imagine 20 and me. Wouldn't life be good? Okay, no. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so cheese. But, but putting the cheese with that is, um, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a big. Awesome, awesomeness. I mean, you know, Wensleydale cheese is a, um, um, a territorial cheese from England. Um, it's a soft cheese, um, a little bit of acidity there, not as much as the Cheshire that uh, you, you can get in, in uh, the UK as well, but it's quite a mild cheese. And the flavours of the cheese and that whiskey with the rum cask mm. in it um, just combine so well. It's just beautiful. Um, but, you know, have a go. Uh, get down to your local whiskey bar, and if they've got a, a, a bottle of the Well Vinny Cannery and Cask, it's a got this amazing. Well, you know what we need to do one night? 
or one afternoon, we'll go on tonight. We need to take some cheeses down there, I reckon, and just sort of start with maybe at the top of the menu and work our way down. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, we're going to have to get an Uber home because no one will come pick us up. But. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we, we can might, do that. We might have to take a cask out and just flow into the cask afterwards. Isn't it? Quite all right. <laughs> Drink well, ourselves out. Oh, this has been a very good night. <laughs> but this, this is good. Let's see. Well, once again, well done, my man. Great. Say good night, Good afternoon, Bess, because I can be different. <laughs>